So hi, what's up? It's your boy Sports Wizard and welcome back to another video on my channel. So today we're gonna to be Medvedev versus Herkax ATP Finals Brian Robin. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited the ATP Finals starts. So this is the first match Rob Robin and let's jump into the prediction. So my prediction Medvedev in three score and six three three six seven six mode hard. So I think Herkax will push him to three sets. No doubt about it, Herkak is a fantastic player. He qualified for the ATP Finals, which, you know, is something. So, yeah, he'll, he'll push him to three sets, but Medvedev should still come out on top. So, let's get into the end station. So, Medvedev is a base down. He has a good serve. He rallies well. He has flat strokes. He can play defensively. He's currently number two in the world. He has 11 titles. He won the U.S. Open earlier this year he won the last Open final french open quarter finals in Wimbledon fourth round he also went to the olympics quarter finals and he won the atp tour finals last year so he is the defending champion he also won rogers cup earlier this year uh Herkax, he won to the last Open one guys in u.s open second round Wimbledon semi-finals he has four titles he's number nine in the world He's an all core He's a defensive base liner. He has a powerful serve. He has powerful grants. He has powerful grand strokes. He has a flat. He has powerful grand strokes. He has flat strokes as well. He plays serve and volley often as well. That the hat to wear is um one all. You know they have a tight hat to wear. But on hard, Medvedev leads one zero. So yeah, I mean Herkax, He beat him in Wimbledon this year, and uh, Medvedev beat him a little bit after, like earlier this year also. So. All of their wins came in 2021. So, in the first, I think her, uh, I mean, I think Medvedev, he's gonna go aggressive, he's gonna hit Bunnars and Aces, make Herkax move around a lot. But Herkax, you know, he can also hit Bunnars and Aces. But the thing is, Medvedev, he's gonna be making him move around a lot. You know, he's gonna hit more powerful strokes than Herkax. And, you know, Herkax is gonna be moving all around all, like moving, you know, all around the place and he's gonna get tired. And Medvedev, you know, he has a a good like basically what Medvedev can do is like he can put the serve out wide Herkax will have a tough time returning it he's gonna hit it up in the air and Medvedev can just come and finish it off with a volley so yeah Medvedev you know he's gonna be too powerful you know he's gonna make Herkax move around a lot so he will win the first set pretty comfortably in the second set though I think Herkax that's where he takes momentum um, so he's gonna, you know, do whatever Medvedev did to him in the first set. So he's gonna hit winners, hit aces, make Medvedev move around a lot, maybe come to the net, and he will play servant volley a lot. So Medvedev, you know, I still think he'll win, but a major thing is he needs to figure out Herkak's servant volley strategy. So basically what Medvedev needs to do is that he needs to push Herkak as far back as possible. I don't think he'll do that in the second set. And Herkax, you know, he's going to be making move around a lot. You know, he had a few drop shots, and eventually Herkax will win the second one. And in the third one, they're both going to be hitting when they're hitting it, making each other move around, you know, hitting drop shots and all that. But Medvedev, like I said, he needs to hit the ball with a lot of depth against Herkax because Herkax does frequently use the servant volley because, you know, in playing style, you know, you can go to Wikipedia and just search up playing style for Hubert Herkax, and then it shows him his playing style. And it did say that Herkax frequently used servant volley. So if it's on there, then he probably frequently does use it. And I've even seen him use it also. But yeah, Mavrov, he needs to hit the ball with a lot of depth and make Herkax move run, which I think he'll exactly do. And in the third set tiebreaker, I think Mavrov, you know, he's going to be the one that has more energy. He's going to be the one that's, you know, going to hit more winners, going to hit more aces, make Herkax move around, move around a lot. And like I said, he's going to hit with a lot of depth. I think he'll do that, which is, you know, going to limit options for Herkax because he, he cannot play like that far back. So, yeah, eventually Medvedev is going to come out on top. So, yeah, just for a quick recap throughout the whole match, you know, Medvedev is going to hit winners, hit aces, make Herkax move around, you know, hit with a lot of depth. Like, he's going to make Herkax stick to the baseline. And if Herkax is, you know, getting used to the baseline, let's just say that, if he's playing well, he's going to, you know, hit a lot of drop shots. But he cannot hit terrible drop shots to Hoover Herkax. Otherwise, Herkax will take advantage of that. He needs to, whenever he hits drop shots, he needs to hit the perfect ones. So that's what Medvedev is going to be doing for the first and third set. But in the second set, Medvedev, you know, Herkax is going to be, you know, doing exactly the same thing. He's going to be hitting one or hitting aces, making Medvedev move around a lot. And the thing is... How to expose Medvedev 
is, you know, you're going to have to make a move forward a lot. You know, you're going to have to drop shots a lot. I think Hubert Hercax will do that in the second set. But again, Medvedev, you know, he's going to f- figure out Hercax, um, you know, weakness. And eventually Medvedev will come out on top. Because, you know, a big thing is, like, Medvedev doesn't make unforced errors that much. And that's, like, the thing for, like, <laughs> a lot of players that face him. Because, like I keep saying, Medvedev can play offense and defense, which is a very good quality. Because if someone is, you know, going aggressive, he can play defensive and not hit and not make mistakes. And if someone is playing defensively, he can go aggressive and hit winners, which is a big thing. And, yeah, like I said, eventually Medvedev will come out on top. So, yeah, guys, this is the prediction. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. All I know is that I'm going to be watching this match. It's going to be insane. So, if you guys are able to watch it, if you guys are able to access it, I suggest, I suggest you guys to watch it because it is going to be insane. And, yeah, guys, like I said, please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. I'd really appreciate it if you guys do that. And I'll see you next time. Peace.